hey dear welcome back to full scholarships youtube channel and again today we have a new video for you in the live series it's from the concordia university in canada so this scholarship will be for the bachelor's master's phd diploma and certificate programs and we will discuss about this scholarship in a while before that if you are new on our youtube channel please do subscribe to full scholarships and to get to this scholarship link in canada to get to this concordia scholarship link you can check the video description and link is mentioned there as usual so click on the apply link in the top of the description and it will take you to our website here so once you are redirected you can check all information from the fully funded scholarships in canada from the concordia university and this is one of the top and the easiest university to get admissions and accept it so you can check all details here and the details are given so some basic details that we can start with is the country is canada and the university name is concordia university canada and the degree level that you can pursue are bachelor's masters phd courses diploma courses certificate programs so in the guarantee of 100 percent you can go and at least complete the certificate program that this is not just a certificate program this is a key to settle in the canada and you can pursue part-time jobs as well so that may be a reason to visit canada as well so some of the financial benefits points are also mentioned here subjects that you can pursue the courses and the process to apply simple and the eligibility is also mentioned here for undergraduate and graduate both is mentioned here so simply to apply we have also um, created two separate buttons for applying to bachelor's or undergraduate programs you can click here or for the masters you can click here so i'll be showing you for the undergraduate in most of our previous videos we had been showing you the masters one the graduate one but as you requested in the comment section that please show us uh, for undergraduate so most of the students that are watching right now ask and uh, intend to apply for the undergraduate course and they have just passed their schools now to apply for the bachelors you can simply click here on the undergraduate simply click on the undergraduate button here and once you do that you can check the official concordia university has appeared in front of us and all details that you can see yourself here and you can check the details how to apply i am a student or not why concordia and programs every details are given there now scroll down at the end and you can check all details so every details given there so simply to apply you can simply click on the take your next step click on this apply button here once you do that you can check that it has been uh taken to the international students tab and you can check so whichever continent is yours you have to choose that so choose the continent that you are from suppose i am belonging to asian region so i'll be selecting that you might be from africa you can select that so for asian students you can click on the asia pacific button doing that your undergraduate tab will be showing this welcome students from the asia pacific, asia pacific region and the details are given here every detail so in the admissions you can check country and the requirements for each country whichever requirements is each country has the requirements mentioned for example india you need to have the high school or intermediate or secondary school or your 12th class whichever your fsc in some countries and scrolling down you can check apply now button is given clearly in the green tab so click on this apply now button here once you do that you can check to the uh, the page that prepare to apply and uh, you are ready to apply if you have so we have chosen a program for example i chosen any of the that will be shown in the list and suppose i have chosen all the uh, requirements and you are ready yes click on the apply now again in the end so once you do that apply for admission before you start application tips are given there so use these tips uh, wisely and scroll down so now to apply for the masters or sorry uh, undergraduate program bachelors 
you need to have a net name net name is just a sign up email and a password so if you don't have a net name you don't have an account just create an account they call this account a net name so simply it's an sign up process click on this net name and just sign up with the email and password you will receive your email net name and password in your email whichever you use to sign up so just sign up use your email and password and once you do that they will send you a net name in your email suppose i received this net name and this password in my email after signing up here so successfully signed up now click on the sign in button and let's wait for a few seconds so that we get redirected to the dashboard where we can complete the application and it's working right now you might see a white screen as the page reloads so you can check yes we have successfully logged in and on the right hand center side you have the left hand side you have the student center you can go to that as well but on the right hand side you have the uh, button apply so click on this apply the button here so wait for a few seconds so you can choose which or repo course you want to choose so both net name is required for both bachelors and masters so this implies to both suppose i'll be choosing for undergraduate you have to select that if you want to go for a masters you can do that undergraduate all the courses you can show you can apply to these and some courses will open in the next month and other month now i have choosing undergraduate and then click on the next step so you can check the pages loading so please choose the category that best describes your most recent education history so if you have completed the secondary school last you can select that and after that click on the next step so please choose the category that is best describes your recent education history so you should uh, mention outside of canada and the us after that click on the next uh, we just now select the term you wish to apply fall or winter so i'll be choosing next fall after doing that you can click on the next step and a few seconds we have so you can check international high school application is there and you have to fill all the details so details like okay so do not refresh your browser now the information that you need to submit in the tabs is just address and phone numbers academic programs and plans suppose i'll be going to the next step and i will skip some of the steps right now and just show you okay citizenship status is required so let me fill it quickly and get back to you so i have filled the information that has a star that is mandatory to submit now i can click on next step and it should take us to the academic plan academic program so that we can choose our course okay so birth country is required so let me enter the birth country so you should do it as per the passport click on the next step okay let me fill all the details first so i have filled all the basic details after doing that i can select the home country so again you have to fill all the columns in this and all the tabs so do it carefully now you have to enter the basic address so i had filled that now let's click on the next step and here you can check we have moved to the next tab that's academic program and plan so submit this carefully search your subject like whichever course you want like bachelor of engineering bachelor of computer science and fine arts whichever course you have bachelor of science just go for that click on any of the courses that you wish and select the academic plan that you wish to choose i'll be going for the main course and you can add additional plans or secondary plans as well and after that if you wish to fill the second choice you can do that also and i'll be selecting that also let me select that and i'll go for this computer engineering in the second plan as second choice 
and you can do with the third as well but i'll skip and click on the next and let's see if we move to the other info here you can check so address any information that i wish to give and after that click on the next and add the academic history like your academic uh, previous institutions after that move to the attachments and you can add the uh like your previous education details here for example high school diploma so i'll select the, the dates that Suppose I will be choosing 10th of the October 2014 and so I had just randomly selected the dates I will be showing that if it gets accepted so now I will be you must at least enter one school name ok so select school from the list if there is no uh, mention of the school so you can so i'll be just randomly submitting some of the words it might catch with and after that you have to enter the country as well so suppose i'll be choosing the schools so let me filter it with the country the country that i had so after selecting your country it will show the schools in your country only so as you see suppose i'll be choosing this saint george's school and i'll be selecting that so it will add to my education history and after that click on the next so then you have to fill the attachments like document type you have to attach these documents whichever is applicable to you like your birth certificate that you are international student so you have to enter the you can upload also passport then uh, any of the mandatory documents that uh, apply to you you can submit that letter of intent from school recommendation all scores you have to apply and after that you can save and go to next so after that you can simply check that we can submit the application so if application fee applies to you you have to pay that otherwise you can ask them for the waiver as well you can email them in the support section so agree to the terms and enter the name and then simply click on the submit button here at the end and we have some errors or application might not be submitting okay side is trying to open every window okay we can select allow and it will go to the payment page and you can submit your payment by the credit card or any of the methods that are shown here and you can also message or email them and you can check your browser should have opened a new window it completely describes your information here so you have yes here is a payment information that you need to submit and you can submit it here once you do that your application will be successfully submitted same is the method with the masters and there is no fee for the masters but for bachelors the fee applies and at the end as we uh, told you already in the previous video that we will be taking comments comments also so let's see what comments are there and let me quickly scroll down to the, to the comment section and here you can check sir so first we have from the Nadeem Ahmad so hey sir hope you are doing well can you share these templates or form which you can show in the video or how to get these forms so these are not templates so these are okay so you can just google about the templates that we showed in the this FL excellence scholarship yesterday so you can just uh, go for the google and or you can just go to any of the french universities and check they will have uploaded these formats there 
so you can just google also and you can get it from there so after that we have uh, engineer Abzal Akram good effort bro I have a question first question is first we need to submit application form to the university and simultaneously inform campus France or first we need to inform campus France that I want to apply for this you can do both you can apply to any of the France university and ask them to submit uh, the application for campus France you don't need to inform campus France if you already inform your institute to fill the application for campus France they will once you submit your application they will inform you whether you are eligible for the campus France or not also you can go for the campus France first and ask them which university I have more chances to apply and get scholarship you can ask them they will recommend you and so you have a less time like number 15th is the time deadline so you can do that uh, you can just apply to university first and then ask them to fill the campus france application for you then we have usman farid bro we are we need to submit eyelids for the admission in this scholarship if you have eyelids or do a lingo test you can submit that but it's not mentioned anywhere that is mandatory but if you have that increase your chance to get accepted at the end we have noman khan again or noman khan okay so bro make a video on Erasmus scholarships yes tomorrow the video is coming for Erasmus Erasmus scholarship and you can watch that tomorrow and definitely we have worked on your video and you had told us that go for this and thank you for commenting on this video if you have not commented yet just comment in the video today's video that we will be that you are watching right now just comment in this video comment section and again to remind you please follow us on instagram as well the username is full scholarships the link for this concordia canada scholarship is given in the video description you can check out there and if you can't find it there you can message us and we will send you there also you can message us on instagram and we will send you there also so hope you enjoyed this video please do share and like this video also subscribe to our youtube channel full scholarships have a nice day ahead